Hello, this is Jamie Mitchell, and we are back with another episode of Libertarian Censored Podcast, going over all the posts on Libertarian Censored subreddit. Let's get right into it. So first we have, government retaliation is out of control from Institute uh, 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 Institute for Justice on YouTube, and that was supposed to buy a minge lover, and um, yeah, I definitely would agree that, you know, the government can do too much to you, and you can't really get back at it in any way. They are in the position of authority. You are in the position of inferiority. And that's why we, I think we just got to completely shift that paradigm. You know, we got to tell the government, you're not going to push us around any longer. We are in the position of authority. You are in the position of inferiority. And that's my thoughts on that issue. And we have, it took over 200 years for the U.S. to accumulate the first trillion in debt. It took less than 100 days for the last trillion from Clint Russell on Twitter. And I posted that. And I said, I remember that the U.S. Congress under Benjamin Harrison was known for its high spending ways and got known as the billion dollar Congress as a result. Crazy how that would be almost nothing today. You know, I wasn't around back then. I would just pay attention to history class. But yeah, I definitely think the U.S. government's just spending too much. And I think one day, we'll soon, it will have to default. And I think, you know, when that day comes, I don't think it's going to be too pretty. And that's my thoughts on that issue. Then we'll have opinion. Police let violent mobs attack UCLA students. This is what lawlessness looks like. At UCLA, we witnessed legally sanctioned lawlessness. It is more terrible and more politically momentous than anything a civilian can ever do. From TheGuardian.com by Swamp Yankee Dan. And I said, all violence is started by the out-group and never by the in-group. Isn't that convenient? You know, I, I just think it's very interesting how, you know, you can't, um... You know, they'll always find a way to make the in-group look sympathetic, even if they really aren't. You know, I personally don't think, you know, um, the, the, the out-group is much of our friend, I, I, I much, is my, that libertarian I, but, you know, the in-group, you know, the pro-Palestinine protesters, you know, I like what Trail Jump says here, whole situation seems pretty libertarian. Cops disappeared and let Mark and Von side who had the right to protest. And I think, um, you know, I think that's kind of libertarian, I would say, you know. No, I don't think they, you know, it's the same people who say, oh, to fund the police, that that want police protection, and that just goes to show you that they're kind of hypocritical on that issue. I think I'll, I'll, I'll tell it, yeah. And that's my thoughts on there. Uh, I'll write that down the same. We'll say... Fun. The police want police protection. And next we have democracy is in peril because both sides journalists that maga spread disinformation from KansasCity.com by Donald Key and I said we should just let them make disinformation legal. What could possibly go wrong? Sarcasm. And, yeah, you know, I personally don't think, you know, we should, we, people should be spreading disinformation, but you gotta let it, you gotta let the market decide, not, not, to, not to censor any, any dissent at all, and that's what the, the articles like this want, they want all dissent, all dissent, all, all censored, and I don't think that's very libertarian, we need free speech, not censorship. Then we have Italian PM Georgia Maloney sues placebo singer for calling her fascist racist from TheGuardian.com. And that's from Midgroup Mount Gorilla. And they, they added, not government asking companies voluntary take down social media posts, not government's labeling things as misinformation because it goes against the leftist narrative or whatever. A far-right fascist is in control of the entire government directly going after private citizens. And they linked to an article from The Guardian, specifically for criticizing the right-wing government and threatening them for years in prison. I said, I definitely think that goes against the singer's right to free speech. You know, increasingly, though, censorship is... Uh, is promoted by both the left and the right, and I don't think that's very libertarian. We need to stand up for free speech, not censorship, and that's my thoughts on that issue. And we have Joe Jorgensen on Twitter. Now RFK Jr. wants to use the LP convention to debate Trump. Yes, you heard me right. We have incredible libertarian POTUS candidates, yet it appears instead of focusing on them, we get to listen to two statists on our own stage. That was from Joe Jorgensen on Twitter by Leggio X, and I said, I hope to let the LP out nominate into the debate as well if it happens after the nomination process. 
And that's my thoughts on that issue. You know, I personally wouldn't want Trump or RFK Jr. there, but you know, any attention at this point is good attention, I would say. And that's my thoughts on them, that issue. Then we have Orange Man Bad from Prince of Zimbabwe on YouTube, and I posted that. And that was, you know, all the. Uh, all the talk shows with the MPC, it's a video about all the talk shows with the MPC face, you know, they go, go, orange man bad, and then all the MPCs go and protest, they say, orange man bad, for hate, hate, spe free speech, hate speech isn't free speech, stuff like that, and I said, you know, and then, the, one of the normal guys comes up and he says, why, and that causes them to have a meltdown. And, you know, I, I said, I can't stand Trump, I'm imagining this every single day for nearly a decade, you know. It gets tiring at some point, I would say, but you know, it it doesn't. These people don't seem to ever get tired of it. it looks, like, it feels like. So that's my thoughts there. Then we have Cannon indefinitely postpones Florida Trump trial from CNBC.com by Clorox, and that's crossroads from the r slash law subreddit. And um, yeah, I guess you know, I personally think they should have the trial as soon as possible. But you know, Trump's got a lot of other trials right now to do, and that's important to remember as well. So. Um, you know, I guess, you know, take your time as much time as you want, you know. Um, I don't want to force people to do to, to go as quickly as possible. Then we have RFK Jr. says Parasite ate part of his brain from the hill.com by Clorox. And that's my, and, um, I didn't comment on that one, but yeah, I like what Deacon X Blues says here. Whatever, whatever you think about RFK Jr., know that the NYT is likely leaving this kind of thing up now as part of their job as acceptable fall controller and chief news propagandist for the state. The deposition was 12 years ago, and the chief said symptoms were 14 years ago. I find the article to be pretty gross in that context. And I would agree with that, you know. It's definitely being used as propaganda rather than actually a story. And yeah, I personally... Um, you know, do do think, you know, it's interesting, but I definitely think it's mostly just propaganda as, as how it's being used, and that's my thoughts on that issue. Then we have stadium subsidies are getting more, even more ridiculous. You'd think that three decades worth of evidence will put an end to giving taxpayer money to wealthy sports owners. Unfortunately, it would be wrong from the Atlantic.com by Clorox and Crossbows from the Urban Planning subreddit. And, um, yeah, I definitely would agree with that. You know, we shouldn't be giving... Uh, billionaires taxpayer money to build stadiums. If they if they, if they need the money so badly, you know they can they can um to use their own money. Or you know if they if they, they or you know if they want to if they say oh if we, if you don't get the money we're gonna move you know just move you know that you can always you can always follow your team even if they move to across the country and yeah even if it's no longer playing in the local area it doesn't really matter you know we live in an age where you know social media you know kind of renders distance irrelevant in that regard and that's my thoughts on them, that issue. Then we have toddlers often do stuff for attention. They stop shortly after they do not get that attention. Had this hunger strike been principled over human rights violations in Gaza, their own needs would be the farthest thing from their mind. And that's from the redheaded libertarian on Twitter, and I posted that. And that was her quote tweeting, Breaking 911. Princeton hunger striker complains that the administration is not monitoring our health. They are not keeping track of our vitals. They are not at all taking care of us. We will continue to starve until they meet our demands. And I said, um,. It feels a lot of politics is like that these days. It's all, look at me, look at me, I blame social media. You know, the, the, they can be as open about their hunger strike as they want to be. It's the entitlement they feel for resources from the very same universe that they're protesting that shows they aren't serious at all. And it really isn't even a protest, I would argue. It's more of a LARP, you know. Most protests are LARP these days, I would say. You know, they, they, they just, they're just kind of... Just kind of, you know, doing more theater than actual protesting, I would say, of stuff like this. And that's my fault on um, that issue. Next we have abolish the USD FDA abolish the USDA abol and uh, abolish the and and then they have me it's from LP Maryland and I post that and they have a meme when all you want to do is be left alone to raise animals grow food and build an unpermitted barn everything you want to do is illegal it's the children's book that the farmer is raging because he can't do anything because everything's illegal and that was a quote tweet of Wall Street apes. Farmers are under attack in America. American farmers says that USDA is taking away our abilities as farmers, ranchers, homesteaders to take care of our livestock. They are taking away all of the over, over the counter antibiotics and dewormer, whether it be oral splash on the pills. They are taking those away from us and move making us 
bring in veterinarian care in order to monitor and administer those. This is going to make our overhead as homesteaders, farmers, ranchers extremely high because, again, a lot of the stuff we do on our own, you know, we do the splash on, but again, they're taking those away. The ivermectin, the other antiparasitics, they're taking those away from us as farmer ranchers because I don't know. If I were your farmer rancher, whatever, stock up, stock up now while you can. Well, it's ours because it's what's coming. We're all about to pay a lot higher price, price for bife, bright beef, chicken, pork, meat. And I said, my response to the, the, that was, um, you know, 100% correct. You shouldn't be forced to ask for government permission for anything. And, you know, a lot of people these days seemingly will be happy to do we can only eat government-approved food. And I don't think that's very libertarian. I think the libertarian position is for food freedom, not government-approved food. And that's my thoughts on that issue. Then we have, haha, the dude is Ron Burgundy from Tim Pool on Twitter, and I posted that. And that was him, quote, tweeting, I'm Ian Miles Cheong. Joe Biden recalls how his theology professor was a guy named Riley Last Name. And, you know, I agree, I agree with Tim Pool there. You know, it's kind of like Ron Burgundy reads everything off the teleprompter. Can't wait until he tells America to go F itself like in the movie. And that's my thoughts on um, that issue. Then we have Trump promises to steal police immunity from prosecution. He's still invited to speak at Libertarian Convention from Reason.com by Patan 13. And I would agree that definitely isn't good. Um, we, uh, but we need to hold, uh, hopefully he doesn't take power again. But, you know, even if he does, I don't think Joe Biden, I think Joe Biden probably wants to give his law enforcement uh, immunity from prosecution too if they, if they enforce his agenda just like Trump does. And that's my thoughts on that issue. Then we have Fight Club 19, Fight 4 DC, uh, LNC Chair from origin, original title, and it's from Rumble.com. And I said, interesting, I thought Reddit all removes Rumble links. I guess the mods might have been here approved this one. Uh, you know, so, and then do, that's from Dr. Who 7. They added, Dr. Who 7 said, I'm only about halfway through so far. You won't be able to finish until lunch, but holy shit, is McCarl not interested at all? Almost every question she's asked to be repeated, and I'll be actually been paying more attention to the Kennedy stuff in the podcast debate she's currently on. So far, not a huge fan of any of the free. And I guess I would, I guess I would agree with that, you know. Everyone's kind of up their own ass these days, it seems. And it definitely feels that, especially when it comes to politics, you know, I think that's another thing you, should, you could really blame social media on. And that's my thoughts on that issue. So I think we're going to wrap it up there. Um, I'll see you guys in the next episode. Bye.